Hey friends, today is a special day. It's Anna's birthday today and she's celebrating it with a party for her friends. However, Anna needed some help organizing the party. So, she called Bhanu. Oh, look! Bhanu has already reached. Hey Anna, happy birthday! Thank you for the wishes, Manu. Glad you are here. Uh, why do you look so stressed? Because I'm panicking. Five of my friends will come over in four hours, and there's a lot to plan for the party. Calm down. Everything will be planned by then. I'm here to help. Let me know where to begin. All right. Uh, shall we start by sorting the snacks boxes? Yeah, sure. I bought 30 sweets and 42 juice packets. I have to arrange all these sweets and juice boxes so that everybody gets an equal share in their snack box. How many snack boxes do we need to put it to get an equal number of sweets and juice packets? Anna, we just need 6 snack boxes. Wow, Bhanu, that's correct. But how did you know we'll need just six boxes? It's simple. I just calculated the highest common factor. Highest common factor? What's that? You remember we discussed factors and multiples the other day? If you haven't watched that video already, then do check out the video here. Let me show you how I used factorization to find the number of snack boxes we needed for Anna's party. HCF of two or more numbers is the highest factor that divides both numbers. You can find the HCF using two methods. Listing factors method, division method. In the listing factors method, step one. You just have to list down the factors of each number and find the common factors between them. Step 2 Then, among the common factors, we pick the highest number. In our case, let's list down the factors of the numbers 30 and 42. As we can see, 1, 2, 3 and 6 are the common factors of 30 and 42. Among these, 6 is clearly the highest common factor of all. Oh, that's so cool! What is the other way to find the HCF? The other method is the division method. This is a very interesting method. Step 1. In this method, take the larger number and divide it by the smaller number and check the remainder. Step 2. This remainder now becomes the new divisor and the divisor of the previous step becomes the new dividend. After this, we divide again. Step 3. Continue the division process until we get the remainder as 0. The last divisor will be the HCF of the two numbers. Oh, that's simple. Thanks, Bhanu. Snack boxes are sorted now and I learned a new concept called HCF today. Anna quickly learned a new math concept because she applied it to her real life problem. It made it easier for her to grasp. Check out our courses at Bhanzu to learn math the right way. A place where you don't just learn the concepts but also relate it to your everyday lives. To know more, click on the link provided in the description and grab your free trial for kids between the grades 1 to 8. Anna learned how to calculate HCF. But did you?
try and apply this concept to solve the worksheet provided in the description below. That's it for today. We'll come back with more interesting math concepts for you in the upcoming videos. So, make sure to hit that red subscribe button and ring the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Until then, keep learning and keep growing.